Good evening, everybody. It is 6.05. Um, you are here for the Lake Worth Water and Sewer Improvements Part 2 project. My name is Sally Ellerson, and I handle the project communications for the Fort Worth Water Department's Water Capital Delivery Group. If you haven't already, please mute yourself now, unless you'd like us to hear your conversations. Um, you can unmute yourself following the presentation. If you have questions, please post them in the chat. If you'll look at the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you, see, you should see a chat bubble. There's also a message in there that I posted that has the link to the project page on the website. If you're a call-in user, we'll take your questions after we get through all the chat questions. Like I said, the meeting is recorded. Um, after the meeting, we will do a summary FAQs. Those will be emailed to the board members. I think there's five neighborhood groups that are impacted by this project. And we'll also have it posted to that project page. We'll have the video of this presentation, the maps, and all that kind of thing on the project page. I'm looking to see if we have our council members. I don't see them. You are in Council District 2, which is Carlos Flores, and Council District 7, which is Dennis Shingleton. So Walter, I'm going to pass this over to you to start the presentation. Thank you, Sally. We're today we're going to we're going to do the introductions, which I believe Sally's done. My name's Walter Norwood. I'm going to be the project man, or I am the project manager. I'll still be the project manager once we start construction. And we're going to do an overview of the project, talk about the areas we're working in, and explain why we have to do this. Already mentioned my name. There's my phone number and email address. We also have our design consultant in the meeting, Billy Wimlin with Burgess and Nipple. As Sally said, this project is in Council District 2 and 7, and it borders the cities of Lake Worth, Sansom Park, and River Oaks. The, uh, the, the main purpose of the project is to replace water and sewer mains that are deteriorated in Circle Ridge Drive, Crown Road, John's, and John's Way will also be repaved after we install the uh, water and sewer lines. This map shows John's Way from Norris Valley Drive to Shady Dell Drive. This is very close to uh, the city of Lake Worth, just north of Lake Worth. We'll do all the three courts off, off John's Way, Huntdale, Rushwood, and Jolly. This map shows uh, Circle Ridge Drive West from Skyline to Circle Ridge Drive. It also shows Circle Ridge Drive going to Jacksboro Highway. And uh, we're installing utilities in those streets and we'll repave them. Crown Road will be done. And uh, some others showing on here. There is a Jacksboro Highway on the north side. I call it the north, the east side of Jacksboro Highway. We're going to install a water line, but we won't be repaving Jacksboro Highway. Uh, there's an easement west of Circle Ridge Drive that's shown on the map from Hillside going to the northeast. And then there's an easement between Skyline and Brook Hollow Drive that we're going to be working in between Montrose and South Brook. The other line that we're doing is a sewer replacement farther north uh, between 28th Street and 30th Street. And that the sewer line zigzags through the blocks as shown on the map. <clears throat> 
This is the second part of a project that we did uh, closer to Lake Worth. That's why we call it Lake Worth Part Two. And that project is complete. As I said, this project will repair and replace deteriorated sanitary sewer and water lines. Uh, everybody in this that's adjacent to this project already has water and sewer service with the city of Fort Worth, and there won't be any charges for reconnection related to this project. Some of the some of the sewers are in easements, and we'll have to access property to get to those. Uh, we've contacted most of the owners that are going to be affected, so they should know about it. Um, if you if you your property is one of them, you'll be notified before we get on your property. Your sewer service will not be interrupted during the project. And we'll install new clean outs at the property line and connect to your service line. We, we're going to reconnect your your uh, water services. You know, as I said, that's that's part of the project. We'll build a new service line up to the right of way line. And. We're going to transfer everybody's water to a temporary water service while we're while we're replacing the water line. And uh, that way you if the only time you'll be out of water is when we're transferring you to the temporary or from the temporary back to the new water line. Which shouldn't be 15 to 30 minutes at each transfer. If, if there's any damage to the property, our, we'll repair it back to its original condition. We suggest everybody take pictures and videos of your property so that we'll have proof of, of what needs to be done in case something is damaged. If you have an irrigation system uh, adjacent to the street, it could possibly be damaged and uh, we're gonna work with you the contractor and the inspector will work with you to try to locate those sprinkler heads so that we can replace them and we'll know where they all go. This project is still in the in the design phase. We haven't finalized the construction drawings yet. We are we are hoping to do that soon and uh, go out for bids this summer and get started by the end of the year. <clears throat> Once we select a contractor, we'll have a second meeting and uh, invite everybody to that so that you can learn the, the schedule for the construction and meet the contractor. If you need more information, here is a uh, a link to the page. I believe Sally said she also included that in the, the mailer she sent you. The, the page, when I say the page, I mean the uh, project page on the city's website. There's some instructions on how to, uh, to get to that link another way if that doesn't work. So there's some other information that she'll post related to this meeting that we're having now. So again, my name's Walter Norwood. I'm at 817-392-5026. It's walter.norwood at fortworthtexas.gov. There's some uh, emergency contact information if you need it. If something happens during construction, you can call 817-392-4477 to uh, notify us of any emergencies. So that's that's the presentation, and uh, we can take we can take any questions now. We don't have anything in chat, so if you want to unmute yourself and ask questions. 
come out in yes i was wondering if you guys have um, um an idea of what areas you're going to focus on first no once we once we get the contractor selected we don't you know the project doesn't define an area that he has to work in first so we'll let him decide which which areas he wants to choose to work in and we'll get that schedule from from the contractor so after we after we go out for bids and get a contractor then we'll have another public meeting and we can have that information for you oh excellent okay so there will be uh, at least one more meeting yes yeah at least one more and like I said, the contractor will be at the meeting. Awesome. And um, will this, this be a web? It just really depends whether it's a web meeting or in person, correct? Due to COVID? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I guess it does depend. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you, by the way, how do you like the online meeting? Would you rather have an in-person in meeting? I'm in online meetings all day, pretty much every day. So it's not a problem for me. Um, I think that if uh, Carolyn would have tried to get on her own, she, couldn't have, she wouldn't have been able to do it. So I'm just happy that I could be here and I plan on uh, helping her set up, set it up and have it ready. So just in case if she has a question and I'm not available, she can log on. So just those little things. Do you have any more questions? Right, and so we'll have a second meeting before we appraisals or appraisers are sent out again. Correct. Um, what do you mean by appraisers? Have are you, the one uh, that came out and checked the uh, property the first time? Right, okay. and they had an issue where the um, it wasn't done right. It wasn't done uh, according to the instructions that were given, or there was some miscommunication. So they were going to have to send someone else out again, and uh, that was really the last thing we heard. Right. Mm -hmm. So okay. happy that communication is going. <laughs> so yes. So, yeah, we've got to to finalize the easements, the appraisals, and the easements. Right. Out. Right before we can even advertise for bids. So that's something. That oh, really? Do. So they're going to need to be coming out pretty soon then. Okay. They should be, if they need to come back, they should be coming soon, I hope. Okay. And who would we contact if we don't hear from them in the next couple of weeks? What do you? Um, Mrs. Wright, what's her first name? I can't think of it right now. She is the, uh, she's your contact with our real property department. Okay, real property department. Okay, and do we have a, a phone number or email for her or is there just a general number? Walter, I have that in front of me. Okay. Her Thank name you. is Deanna Wright, D-E-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, oh. right? And um, phone number is 817-392. Six three four nine. Okay. All right. Um, well, what we'll do is we'll also go tell our neighbor next door, who's also having to deal with this as well, and just let her know uh, to make sure that she's on the next. She looks for the letters and opens the letters, and that she's she's uh, aware of the next meeting or that someone might be coming by as well. Okay. 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 Just uh, wondering what we could do to help. So. We're just glad that it's going to be looked at and taken care of and mm -hmm. yeah, so wonderful. Good. I'm, I'm glad it's oh, something and you what about to shrubs and all that. He said, if you take pictures of all that stuff, then um, they'll replace, they'll work with you to replace all of those things. Anything that may be damaged or may be different, they'll work with you on, on that. The key is pictures. And I know you had know how to use your cell phone, so we got it covered. So. And our contractors instructed to take videos and pictures also. Yeah, you know, it's very, it really helps with clarity, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have any more questions, no. Carolyn? Any idea? No, I think, I think we're done on our end. I don't know if anyone else has questions. We do have two call in users. Do you have any questions? We don't hear anybody else talking then. No. Oh. They must just have muted the combo. That's okay. So everybody don't hear what we say either. Right. Walter, I don't have anything in chat. 
Um, no calling users or asking questions. Is there anything else you want to make sure everybody knows before we sign off? Uh, well, again, if you're a call-in user, my name is Walter Norwood. I'll be the project manager. I'm at 817-392-5026. And my email is walter.norwood, N-O-R-W-O-O-D, at fortworthtexas.gov. Fort Worth, Texas is all spelled out. Okay. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for helping your neighbor. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Well, that didn't take a minute. No, it didn't.